Hi everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. As you all know that Accenture started their hiring for on campus. So actually I, okay, let me inform you. So Accenture actually uh, started their hiring for 2025 batch in their off, uh, in on campus drives. Okay. And already the off campus drives are ongoing. Okay. For off campus, as you all know, 2022 to 2024 batch is eligible to apply. And in on campus, the hiring which came recently is for 2025 batch. Okay, so now we will be talking about the updated syllabus and pattern for Accenture hiring as they introduced a new position in on campus. So let me discuss all about this. Okay, so first of all, they are offering total two profiles. The first profile is associate software engineer. So you can see, uh, you can say this associate software engineer, or this is equivalent to PADA, that is Packard Application Development Associate. So basically, both the roles are same. If I talk about associate software engineer or PADA, basically the roles are same. Okay, uh, no difference. But when I talk about the next role, that is advanced associate software engineer, and they are offering the pay package of 6.5 LPA. So basically, this role is a little bit different, as the expectation from this role is literally high. And also, if you will be allocated the role of advanced associate software engineer the expectation is high also you will be allocated the project which requires actually complex software engineers or you will be getting some complex problems to solve in the project okay so actually the work is also different so if you are getting associate software engineer you will be going through a general process but if you have allocated the uh, position of advanced associate software engineer then the work you will be getting is little bit difficult then associate software engineer okay also the responsibilities will be little bit higher also the pay package is great also your promotion will be on a higher note okay now talking about this so first of all the overall process stands like this so first you need to do the registrations so you uh, i hope your tpos will provide you the link for uh, registering in into the accenture okay then there is online test then uh, technical interviews and HR interview, then the last process is offer letter. So let me discuss from uh, the first test. So your first test is cognitive and technical assessment. So the first section basically comprise of total 50 questions, uh, which we can divide into total three sections. So the first one is English ability. Second one is critical thinking and problem solving. And third one is abstract reasoning. Okay. Then we have the second, if you can uh, see a second kind of section, which comprise of total technical assessment that is common application and MS office pseudo code fundamentals of networking security and cloud. Okay. So you can say this is one section of technical and this is, this one is cognitive. You will get actually total 90 questions to solve and the assessment is also around for 90 minutes. Okay. Now talking about this, uh, what is this basically? What will be the difficulty level? So first of all, all three sections of cognitive are not much difficult. They are for about medium difficulty. Okay. If you want to prepare, you can basically prepare the medium level of question and that will be, uh, that would be enough. So in the English ability, they will be focusing on the English grammar side, the error spotting part and also the paragraphs. Okay. In the critical thinking and problem solving skills, actually this is also part of reasoning. So when we talk about abstract reasoning, there are some different topics in abstract reasoning and uh, in critical thinking and pro problem solving, this is more like uh, normal reasoning and abstract re reasoning, I think, uh, uh, comprise of the visual, if we can visualize the reasoning, that is the abstract reasoning. Okay. So uh, basically, I would say one thing that the major part is around reasoning. So uh, you can prepare reasoning well, because this can be a one major factor for the selection. Okay. Because if you can see the in the total 50 questions, the most of the questions asked are, uh, are from reasoning. Okay. Then talking about the next section, which comprise of 40 questions from common application and MS office pseudocode and fundamentals of network security and cloud. So basically they will be asking you some technical questions. The level of the questions will be easy and medium. So what you can do, you can use, there are many websites of MCQ directly search uh, like uh, MS office MCQ, pseudocode MCQ, okay, fundamental and networking MCQs. So you can search on Google, you will be getting multiple sites. So you can use them for the preparation. Okay. Then talking about the analysis part of this. So first of all, I will, I will tell you one thing. There is a predefined score, which you need to crack. Okay. There is nothing like if many students are participating, suppose thousand students are pa participating, then the cutoff will be on the base on the basis of what is students are performing, but the cutoff on the basis of the minimal scoring marks. So suppose let's take about 60%. So you can assume 
if there is 60 percent marks then you need to actually get the 60 percent right questions in all of these section like in the cognitive and in technical section as well okay but it is nothing like if thousand uh, students are participating the cutoff will be increased based on the performance of the students nothing like like there will be a qualifying score so suppose if, if, if the 60 percent is a qualifying score if you able to get more score than 60 percent definitely you will be proceeding for the next round and you need to actually wait for five minutes the next round will be start immediately okay so talking about the analysis part so the cognitive for cognitive i would suggest to study good because the level can be little bit of medium side okay so and actually this is the main factor of the selection as well because suppose if you perform well in the interviews but what is the new process of accenture so this is the new process basically so actually for your final overall selection the marks which will be calculated for you will be starting from the assessments only okay so your assessments marks will be also calculated and your interview marks will be also calculated the combined score of both will be granted as your final selection so perform well in the assessment because this is not uh, not the thing that, that this is only qualifying but the whole score matter matters in the uh, final selection as well okay so suppose if you are scoring on the boundary age only suppose only 60 percent that's fine you will be proceed to the next round okay but in the final selection you will get eliminated as your score is low okay so because the final in the final selection also the marks of the first assessments matters okay in accenture not in other companies but in accenture it actually matters confirmed by accenture uh, interviewers only okay so this is the important part that you need to score well to get the final selection okay then talking about the coding assessment if you can see so cognitive and technical assessment will be notified within five to ten minutes so uh, when you will give the assessment first assessment of cognitive and technical after five to ten minutes you will be getting the coding assessment if you able to clear that round okay so be seated okay be seated because after five, five to ten minutes you will be getting the coding assessment coding assessment will commence immediately post your result okay uh, talking about the coding assessments you will be getting total 45 minutes to complete you will be getting total two questions okay the level of the questions which accenture actually asked is around easy level only okay the coding level is not not much difficult so if you have basic command over arrays strings bit manipulations okay basic recursion then you will be easily able to crack this but if your coding knowledge is not that good then it might be possible that you will be having some problem in solving the coding questions because if you will uh, if you will check the previous questions of coding questions of accenture i already posted them on my channel then you you will be getting to know that the question level is not much hard they are easy to solve and if you have a little bit practice around coding if you have solved around 50 to 100 questions on coding if you know the different tricks uh, in coding you will be easily uh, you can easily actually solve the questions okay the languages which are allowed in coding is c c plus dot net java and python then talking about the analysis part so in these two coding questions basically the thing is if you are solving one question okay definitely many students who only solve one question proceed to the interview round but as i said this score also matter in the final selection so you will be proceed to the next round but the problem is the students who solve two questions will definitely get advantage in the final selection after interview because the marks of coding assessment also matters in the final selection so if you are getting the next round also don't think that you cleared this round because you will be getting the next round that's fine because you qualified for it but in the overall final selection you will be getting the less marks okay so if you able to solve all two coding questions you will be getting the full marks actually the marks matter okay so suppose there are total three assessments suppose kya? it has th total uh, uh, three assessments so first one is cognitive and technical so in cognitive and technical suppose they are taking 20 to 25 percent in the final score also in the coding they are taking 20 to 25 percent in the communication assessment also they are take, taking 10 to 15 percent and the interview also matters around 30 to 35 percent in the final selection okay so actually they calculate all the marks so you need to focus about it that you need to score as much as high you can then talking about the communication assessment the app assessment is approximately of uh, 30 minutes and uh, if you can see you will be getting a separate mail after completing the assessment 
it majorly contains sentence mastery vocabulary fluence uh, fluency and pronunciation okay talking about the analysis part actually we can divide it into the three parts reading writing and speaking okay so first of all what is reading Re reading is very simple they will display some sentence which you need to read what is writing you will be getting some topic you need to write about it like suppose if you are getting a paragraph and they are asking you to write a summary around 100 word 150 words then you need to write about it so everything which you need to write up uh, write that comes into the writing section and then we have speaking so this is the most important section most difficult section you can get many kind of questions in this so first one is listen and repeat so actually you need to hear the sentence then you need to repeat the same sentence also you can get the jumble sentence so you will be getting different type of sentence which will be not correct grammatically then you need to pronounce the correct sentence also story retellings so in the story retellings you will be getting a story you need to summarize that story in your words and you need to speak about so actually the speaking section is all about your oral skills and reading and writing i think you definitely know so this is the full updated pattern also i have covered everything about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching